What's going on lads? Today I'm going to be dewipering my Audi A3. Um, so I haven't uploaded a video in about a week uh, just because I've been super busy. Um, but from the last time I've seen you guys, all I've done to this car is basically just change the number plates over. Um, because the old ones I didn't wasn't really fancying. I did have like a little logo for an Audi logo there, but I um, decided to get rid of that. I've also deleted the front well the front one was on the left hand side of the car which is now on the grill so um yeah um so i'm going to be de-wipering this taking the wiper off and i've also got this little bung so basically this is going to go obviously like on there sort of thing um now don't take this as a how-to because i honestly I'm not 100% what is actually going to have to be done in this sort of um, project. Now, I'm going to take this cover off. Um, I think it's two screws, one under here and one under there. Um, and I remember it correctly, when I fitted the reverse camera, um, there was a lot of clips in this and it was quite a ball lake to do. Um, but we'll get it done, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Um, and yeah, hopefully all goes well. So I've got the bung, I've got the, this is the sealant I'll be using. Um, shout out to Jason for letting me borrow this. Um, and then, yeah, I think we should be good. I'm just letting that run because it's been sat in the garage for like months. So yeah, let's get started. First things first, get these two screws out, which are up here, and then we'll go from there. So it's a T20 to get these two screws out. I have to get a um, prying tool like this. I'll do. And just go around prying it off like this. Okay, that one. Seems to be done. This side. There's no one. There's no one. So I'm going to focus on getting this screw off, this screw off, this screw off. Um, this looks like it's the some sort of sensor. This is for the windscreen wash, which I need to take off um, a plug. Um, apparently you can just put a bolt through there and put a cable tie around it and it hopefully it will hold it. Um, I'm going to put a bolt in there, glue the bolt right in there nice and tight and then put a cable tie on it. Um, so disconnect this little... I can come out. Um, now this, I need to take the rear windscreen wiper off. Now, I know some of these can be a bit of a pain, but I think it's just taking that cap off. Oh, my hands are actually filthy. Take that cap off, there's a 10 millimeter bolt there. Um, and then as long as it comes off the splines okay, then we should be okay. Okay, so it's just this little cap, basically just sits like that, comes straight off. Um, this is the little washer. Um, oh, that comes off as well, so that's just popped off nice and easy. Put that over here with the cap. Um, and then there's your, is that 13 or 10? It might be te uh, 13. Um, I have taken this off before, so hopefully it won't give me any trouble, but we'll soon find out. Um, let's see here, what's that? That's a 14. Take that one. Put it on the match. 
to it. And let's see how we do. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I have taken this off before. Okay, there we go. Now this isn't the hard part. The hard part is getting the actual arm off the splines that are at the back. I'll put that bolt down, that down. Ah, perfect. So I definitely greased it up last time because you see these splines at the back um, can get corroded and then when they're corroded it can be an absolute ball leg to get your arm off. But I'm glad that came off easy. Now I can just work on behind here and getting these three bolts out. Um, they're 10 mils. Uh, I've literally just loosened them now, so these will be just coming off. Um, I have had these off before, so I know that they're not going to give me much of a ball ache. I'm going to these two off, and then we'll see how easy it is to get that whole mechanism out on the other side, because I know that was quite flush and it was sealed and everything, so is that it? Oh, it does come off. Okay, fair enough. I'll put this down here. And then I'll get this top one, which is a bit more tricky because it's got all the wiring in it. There we go, piece of this. Happy days. Now, will this one come off now? Yes. Okay, now we're falling off. Sorry, <laughs> I don't think I have the camera on that. All right, okay, so we're straight out, that's it. And that's the... That's the little rubber thing, which I might think that might have to come out. Um, not one of them, sure, we'll find out. First things first, just get rid of this um, water hose and then see if we can plug that up. But before we do that, we should probably figure out if it's, it's going to work, probably. Okay, so it's pretty easy to get this hose off. You just literally pull that tab up and then it comes off the connection, which is there. So that's out now, that was fairly easy to be honest. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out a way how to plug that up. I'm not sure whether I had to take the connection off and then, so it's just the hose and then put a bolt in there. Um, I'm also worried about if this is going to throw me an error or not. Um, I don't know, but I guess we'll find out and help. Okay, so that's my hole there. I literally just took this out. This was sitting in there like that. I literally just pushed it through and then it came out the other end. Pretty easy to be honest. Um, let's try that quickly. So inside, out like that. Yeah, still got that. Perfect, that'll be flush and everything. That's just the uh, white tape that's on top of that. Um, six i'm gonna quickly wipe down that window just in case um well just to make it a bit more easier to work on so i'm gonna put some tape around the hole um just because i don't want any sealant on the um on the window or anything like that um but yeah i think this is gonna be a pretty easy one to be honest lads um the probably hardest part about this is probably just getting that panel back on because all these clips are just gonna be an absolute ball late and it's just gonna be miserable um but yeah, I think this will be alright. As long as this doesn't throw a code, I'll okay, we'll tie all this up. I'll try and bung that up as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this fitted. Um, I'll come back to you guys when i got the, the uh, window all taped up and ready to go. Okay, so I've just taped around the hole. Oh, that's nice. Just taped around the, <laughs> taped around the hole uh, on the inside and on the outside just to make it a bit more of a cleaner of a job. Um, and as well, I don't want any sealant or anything going on the paint or the window because it's I know that it's gonna be an absolute nightmare to try and get off. So I think the crack is with this is you put this in with the little um, white tape on and then once you got it in and sealed and everything you take this the um, the white seal off um, so that it's a bit more better so obviously you don't want the sealant going on top of the um, the absolute uh, the actual uh, Blanker plate. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do other than just get that on now. I'm just trying to hold it there so it doesn't uh, dry when it's that like, little bit out. Yeah, so far so good. 
So you see, there's the, the plug seal around it. Um, I've just tidied up the glass, uh, but yeah, it looks alright. I'm just gonna let it dry now. I don't really have to do. I don't really have to wait it to do anything else. I can start putting the panels on really. Um, well, I can start plugging this up as well. But here's how it looks on the top. Flush, and then I just later I'll just take this tape off. Um, take that white sticker off and then it should be the same colour as the window okay so what I've done is I've got this little pipe I've got an 8mm bolt that goes straight in this is coming up to about like that far inside um, I also put glue on inside and on the threads of the, of the uh, nuts so when that dries that should stop any leaks I'm just gonna put a cable tie around it and then that should be able should be good to forget about I don't think that'll leak after that Okay, so I've cable tied it up to the other the other wires. I've put a cable tie around the actual pipe as well. Um, that's all in, all glued, all good. Um, this is still, I don't know if it's dry. No, it's not dry yet. Still a little bit wet. So I'll just leave that for now. Um, but what I might do is quickly turn the ignition on, see if there's any warning lights that come on because this isn't plugged in. Okay, so I'm just turning this in on, there's no errors or anything. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do now is just get this back panel back on the boot. Um, and this should be fine for now. When it dries later, I'll uh, take all that off, clean that all up, and then, yeah. Okay, lads. So I'm just taking the tape off the outside, and it looks awesome even with the white sticker which I need to get rid of in a minute now I have put the panel back on um, which was definitely a bit of a ball ache um, if you guys are doing this definitely make sure you put this bit on the actual panel first because I had to, I put it on and then realized that this didn't have to this had to go on with it and I take it off again and then put that back on. yeah it was just a bit of a ball ache um, but it's on now all the clips are sorted but it is a bit of a, um, a task. You have to just keep hitting everywhere until you can hear everything clicks and there's no movement or everything lines up correctly. Um, so yeah, that's sorted now. I put the screws back in as well there. So I'm just gonna take this white sticker off and then we'll see what she looks like. Okay lads, I'm actually really hyped about how this looks right now. Like, this could not have cut out any better than it has. Like, it looks awesome. Like, the only thing I can see is probably just that ring that goes around because of where the original bung used to be, um, which is probably gonna be an absolute nightmare to get off. But otherwise, I think that looks absolutely sick. And I'm dead happy with that, to be honest. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down below and like this video. Um, subscribe if you guys are more interested in what else I've got for this car in the future. Um, I have got quite a list to go through um, and loads of videos to make. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see in the next video or the pre or the in the future videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.